Have you discovered the good news about American universities? Most C students figure this out very quickly. There are seldom visible consequences for not attending class. No one's going to yell at you or embarrass you in class. If you do go to class, you can seek refuge at the back of the class. Just get the notes from someone and wait for the final. You're like a ghost. Eight o'clock class, roll over, go back to sleep. When I was a freshman, I suffered from an inability to attend classes before noon. No problem, just don't go, it's optional. What an ass I was. Americans have an expression, you have to play to win. This video is about the dangers of being watched, but the greatest danger to a student is being unseen at all. Professors and bosses don't write recommendation letters for people who are only names on an enrollment list. Online classes are not an afternoon at the cinema. People are watching you. If you present an empty bedroom because you are in the other room gaming, or the top of your head because you're dozing against the screen, people notice. You don't really fool them. If you are turned away or playing with your dog or munching on a snack, that is what people see. You can, of course, leave your camera off. That sends its own sort of message. A dead camera is not the same as zoning out in a live class. There is no doubt that you are not present. Even if you are lurking at your desk, it's obvious to your colleagues and the teacher that you're not engaged. There are 14 students in the class shown back here behind me. Can you figure out which are headed for A's? Three of them are. Ah, but the others may submit really great assignments. That's possible. But A's are generally connected to faces and voices of students in the minds of the grader. Sorry, that's the way it works. Even if you are perfect in every other respect, the teacher will tend to take off five to 10 points for class participation and presence. Even if that's not part of their formal grading strategy, they know whether you were there or not. If you are too cool for school, don't expect to be in the A pool. Whether you're in class or online, your facial and body language can aggravate or impress your instructor. Next time, we're going to look at how basic preparation for each class can make a big difference in your grade. To see the next video in this series and go to my playlist, Advice for First Year ESL Students from an Instructor, just hit the subscribe button. Remember, your mind is the key to your success. Let's get busy.